Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Meeple Leaf Reviews. My name is Jeffrey. And I am Jacob. And what are we doing today? Today, we are doing our prologue to our top 25 of all time. Now, and those are board games, not drinks. <laughs> now, why only 25? Because <laughs> we are inadequate. <laughs> Some people do top 100s. Yeah. Uh, some people do top 50s, but we're not, just... Not many. Not many. I don't see too many top 50s. Uh, but yeah, we're just doing top 25. Yeah, uh, I don't feel that I have played enough games to warrant anything more than a top 25. And that's just us as gamers uh, new to the hobby. I've only played a little more than 300 different games, I think. Yeah. So I feel like 25 is a good good range that i feel comfortable saying hey these these 25 games are really good yeah i think i'm right about in the same boat as you i've played you know somewhere between 300 to 400 yeah in that in that range of games so i mean doing a top 100 <laughs> <laughs> it's like one quarter of all the games you've ever played yeah the, one the, and one third the 90 to 100 would actually probably <laughs> be bad games <laughs> yeah. yeah probably yeah so I think with twenty five though I can I can say yeah these are these are good games these are great games these are games that I really enjoy mm -hmm. and that I look forward to playing uh, you know hopefully for many many years to come exactly yeah now I had a very specific way that I chose my top twenty five I had well, specific. I had some criteria and so the criteria was a I had to have played the game within the last year because if I haven't played a game within a year does it really deserve a spot on my top 25. Uh, so there are games on my list that I have not played in the last year. Have you played them in two years? Uh, no. Well, see this joker over here <laughs> in but his list. You'll <laughs> see when those games. I think I have up. an idea of what those games would be too. I mean, like sometimes, like there's a game you really love, <laughs> but you know, I, I recently moved like three, well, not recently, it's three years ago now. But, you know, there's games I played a lot with my old game group right. uh, back in Newfoundland that, I mean, I love. I still, I still love those games, but I just can't play them now. But, I mean, I eagerly await the day when I can. Right. So, I mean, though, those games still deserve a spot on my, on my list because just because of how much I love them and how many great memories I have from, from playing right. them. And for me, I just would have played those games within the last year. <laughs> so, the, the other criteria, Get out of here. <laughs> I, the other criteria I had was I had to have played each game a certain number of times to meet certain uh, ranks in my top twenty-five. So, in order to make the top twenty-five, I had to have played the game at least three times because if I've only played a game once or twice, I don't know the game well enough to justify putting it on this list. Yeah. So the 21 to 25 range, I had to have played at least three times, then four plays for the next uh, grouping of five, then five plays, then seven, and then my top five, I had to have played the game at least 10 times in order to make it to that slot. Because with 10 plays, I know indefinitely, I really like this game. Yeah, and I think that, I, I didn't do anything like that for my right. list. I kind of just looked at all the games I played. I did a, a pass through and I did yes, yes or no. Does it, can it make the list? Is it not going to make the list? And then I broke that, you know, I had like maybe 50 games that were, could, could make the list. And then I just kind of went through each one and, you know, just thought about each game and made sure that, it, okay, it's on the top 25. And then I went through and started ordering, ordering them. Right. And it, it kind of ended up that, you know, the games are, are, that are in my top 25 I have played a lot more right so it kind of just naturally fell that way for me I mean I remember the last few months you're like man we need to get this game <laughs> yeah. we need to get some plays of this game <laughs> yeah because I wanted to put it on my list but uh, and I really enjoyed it but I didn't have enough plays so it was just like we need to get to this t table to make yeah. sure so I can climb up my list a bit and make sure it made it onto my list because I enjoy it so much yeah but so my list, um, some of the lower games or the games in like the 15 to 25 range, some of those might be great games, but I just haven't played them enough to justify putting them any higher up. 
on my list. So that's just something to keep in mind with my list. Yeah, and uh, for for mine, there may be a few newer games that made it into the into the top, but for the majority, it's it's more games that I've I've played a lot. They're they're t- tried, tested, and true. Right. So I, I didn't do anything special for my list, okay. but uh, I think when I when we go through, I'll kind of mention how many times I've yeah I've played each game. Yep. To give you an idea of well, I mean, if I say a game is my number ten, and I'm like, well, I played it three times. Yeah. You might be like, well, how come you haven't played it more? Right. Uh, but if I'm like, okay, this game is my number ten, and I played it like. 50, 70. Yeah, 50, 70 <laughs> times. Yeah. You're like, okay, yeah, he, he really enjoys that game. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That sounds good. Well, I'll do that as well, uh, telling you how many times I've played my games. One other thing that we're doing is we're trying to guess what's on each other's twenty top 25 list. And for every game we get correct that's on the list, we're going to give ourselves one point. Yeah. We're going to see who can do better. And if you get it correctly within the uh, section of five, so the 21 to 25 range, if you guessed a game would be in there and it is in that zone, not necessarily the exact number, but in that zone, you get a bonus point. Yeah. So a potential 50 points can be had. Who's I think win? I think we'll be probably in the 30 range. Yeah. I think somewhere somewhere in there. I think we'll see. I think you're going to do better than me. I think so too because. Um, I know that you don't like any of the games I own <laughs> for the most part. So well, I can basically look at your games list and pick your top 25. Whereas you're going to have to look at your game collection and my game collection and put together a top 25. Well, list. I mean, you cull your collection so frequently that, I mean, you've eliminated a lot of the possibilities for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But well, it, then you should be able to look at the ones that have stuck around and be like, oh, yeah, yeah that's definitely on the list. I mean, yeah, you I should th- make it easier. I don't know. There, there's there's games that I think that you like. Right. But then it turns out that you don't like them as much as I think you do. Right. So I think you're... And I think that comes with more plays. The more more I play that game, yeah. the, the more I realize, oh, it's not actually as good or I don't like it as much as I, as I used to. And that's another reason why I have this this tier system that I have because, yeah. you know, by that 15th play, I'm going, oh, yeah, I think I'm going to drop this down a notch. Yeah. Well, and I think, too, the, you know, the whole thing of us recording our plays, I'm, not, I'm very statistical. I love I love statistics. Yeah. Like, I, rec- I record uh, when, I, when I play a game, what, what game it is. Even now that I have, like, a, an app on my phone, mm-hmm. I record who I play with. I record how, how long it takes. Yeah. Because I find sometimes your uh, perception of how much you actually play a game can be completely off. Sure. Like you could say, oh, yeah, I played that game like, like 25, 30 times. And then you realize, oh, I've actually only played it 15 times. Yeah. Like, like even games I look back through my own, I'm like, man, I, I swear I've played that game more than that. <laughs> yeah. But you're, you're just, your perception is, is way off from, from reality. And I mean, I started recording plays from the very beginning. So my, my list is, is pretty, pretty accurate. Right. And I've actually just started recording, uh, since I met you and actually I've just started recording like scores and stuff and yeah. who I played with within the last couple of weeks. And I'm still not very accurate with that because yeah. I'm not always punching it in all the time. Well, I think that's the other thing with recording scores because I, I started doing that too. I mean, the app just makes it so easy. Right. But you see, man, I've never won a game of, of this. Yeah. But and you, the other cool thing is you can keep track of high scores. Yeah. So you can look at, uh, look back for each player and be like, oh yeah, you beat your high score. I remember you doing that yeah. for, I think, Nippon and something else. It was just, you were just like, made a comment after the game. Oh yeah, you beat your high score. Uh, it used to be this and now it's this. And I was so, like, oh yeah, cool. I'm, I'm getting better. <laughs> I didn't win, but okay, yeah. I'm getting better at the game. Yeah. It was yeah. cool. So uh, anyway, that's a, that's an aside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, uh, yeah, we'll jump into our, our top 25 games of all time. Uh, we'll do it in, in sections of... Sections oh, of five, five over the course of two weeks, I think. Yeah. And uh, it'll give you guys a better idea of who we are as gamers, what it is that we actually enjoy. Mm-hmm. So when we recommend or you know don't recommend a game to play in a review, you have some sort of measuring stick to go off of. Right. Like, oh, you know, I might like Euros more primarily, so when I... Don't give a you know a heavy combat game the thumbs up. Well, it's not my kind of game. Exactly right. 
So yeah, I think you're going to see a lot of differences between our lists too, uh, which is just going to discern our tastes. And, you know, we've been getting, giving a lot of the same uh, rankings to games uh, over the course of the po or the podcast and our videos. And now I think you're going to see a little bit of a difference with our top 25. Yeah, I think we can both recognize good games. Yeah. But I think the games that we <laughs> really enjoy is where it gets gets different right yeah like when we both play a great game we're like yeah that was a that was a great game yeah but what we find most enjoyable is where the difference is exactly uh come in all right so enjoy the upcoming top 25 lists uh let us know in the comments if you agree or disagree and uh yeah give us a hard time all right <laughs> see you guys in the next video take care 